Wow. 2017 is finally over and here I am still making videos. You know, now that's a new year. I want to commemorate 2017 and basically all the years I've been on YouTube. How will you be doing this, you may ask? Well, of course, by doing the top six worst Gel Legends series. Top six because I couldn't find four more videos to actually put in to make top 10. So, uh, yeah. Now, you may be thinking, okay, so it's just pretty much the lowest viewed videos I've done on my channel. And no, that's actually not true. In fact, there are many different factors that actually make a video or a video series on my channel uh, pretty much the worst. And a uh, prime example of that is, in fact, number six. Six, eight. Two. Whoa, okay. So I know, I know, I know. An SCP video on the top worst videos I've ever done on my channel. Okay, so uh, I know a lot of you guys will be thinking that, you know, like, how can this be? This video got tons of views. You had a lot of fun making it, and it's an SCP video. Well, you're right. I did have a lot of fun making it, and it's just, it's an SCP video. It's, it got super popular and all that stuff. Uh, but that doesn't change the fact that it went nowhere. What I mean nowhere is that the developers stopped updating the game, and that's pretty much it. A new potential SCP game just pretty much gone, and that's, that literally, it, it was just done. Can you imagine if they continue to update 682? Like, if they continue to just add in more content and all that stuff, can you imagine the series? How many videos I would have made? How many views? Can you imagine the views I could have made? But nope. This is wasted potential. I could have had so much, everyone could have had so much, but nope, they just stopped updating it. And that's the reason why this 682 deserves to be number six on the top six worst videos I've ever made. Now I know some of you are gonna be pissed off because of this one SCP video I made recently that's uh, <laughs> clickbait. First off, thank you to everyone who realized it wasn't clickbait and that they actually watched, um, let's see, more like uh, three minutes into the video. If you were to watch maybe like three or four minutes into the video, you would have realized that uh, I, I, I actually explained it. Clickbait much? Your gameplay and acting are like your knowledge of SCPs. Shitty. What an idiot. That's 217, says 217, but the picture shows 682. SCP-217 is a clockwork virus, not a thing. Yeah. Oh, 217's a virus. Oh, it's not, it's not an actual like, like, thing that chases you, it's, it's a virus. Oh, okay. No, it's a virus. Oh, okay, all right, I see, oh, okay. But apparently no one, barely anyone, like literally like 80% of the people who actually watched it said it was clickbait, and it wasn't. I explained it in the freaking video, but nobody freaking watched it, so uh, that's the reason why that video is not in the top six, because you just need to watch it. And I, like I said, thank you to everyone who, who realized that it wasn't clickbait. And thank you pretty much for everyone who was just commenting and everything like that, saying that it wasn't clickbait. So please, just 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 just, just, just rewatch it if you, if you think it was clickbait. Rewatch it. I hope you're getting it now. It doesn't matter what kind of video it is. If it's wasted potential or if it's just bad, I'll, I'll pretty much add it. So, number five, Outlast 2. Okay, so this one might be very mixed. Um, so on one hand, I really enjoyed Outlast 2 for its overall intensity and scariness. But on the other hand... That's kind of the main reason why I hated it so much. It just didn't really feel overall that great. I, I didn't get the same feeling of dread as I did playing the first game. All I really remember was just running around in the dark every five minutes where you can't see anything and that's about it. The only truly great parts I remember was when you get sent back to school. And the reason why is because, well, they actually slowed down everything. And once everything slowed down, you can actually get into the atmosphere. It's gonna be this thing again, isn't it? Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> so it still had its scary moments and I still kind of enjoyed it so that's why I'm putting it down on number five because it still isn't the worst but it was kind of bad. Number four, The Calling. Anyone remember this game? I don't think they do. So I had high hopes for this series and some of you actually enjoyed it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about this game. <laughs> they, he put a freaking mine right there. Fresh meat! Beat that out! Oh shit! Oh god! Oh, I, mis I misclicked! Oh god, where is he? This game was so much freaking fun to play with friends until the developers decided to just screw everything up. Now the game is just unbalanced and there's like five people playing right now, so it's like... It's not the same anymore, honestly. Number three! Okay, so this one was made back in 2013 and uh... I don't really want to talk about it. Um, just because of how cringy it was. Uh, so it's a video you can find on my channel, you just have to dig deep, um, and you'll find it. Uh, it's not the game itself. In fact, it's, the game was a pretty standard indie horror game back then, you know, like the, the original indie horror game. It's just that I thought it was a good idea to roleplay in the game and upload it. So, uh, yeah. Dr. Marshall! Oh, Dr. Marshall? <laughs> oh no. 
god. Is there anything Why did to do that? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Number two. Only if. Woo! Okay, alright. The uh, ooh, this game. This game was really something. Okay. Only if it's a game I played back in 2015, and you can tell by my face, I really enjoyed it. What? I can't exactly remember what happened in the game because it was about three years ago, but what I do remember was that it was very similar to LS2 in the sense that you ran around in the dark for a long time and if you made one mistake you pretty much died um, for, for no reason. Except this game was just much shittier. And it also deleted my save so I couldn't really freaking continue on so I was just like, you know what, I, I, screw it, I, I don't really care about this game, I, I really don't want to replay everything that I just played. So uh, yeah, that, that's the reason why this game is on number two because it was probably one of the worst experiences I've ever had playing a game on my channel. I, I, I was trying really, really hard to just like be happy and pretend that I was I was having a fun time playing it, but I, I, I really wasn't. And finally, we have reached number one. It totally wasn't really that hard. It was just about five others. So here we go. Number one, Spookies, jump scare me. No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love you guys freaked out right there. All right, the real one is SCP Contain- No, <laughs> no, I got you there again. No, it's actually Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Oh, this game was a disappointment. This game was such a disappointment. Now, I know a lot of you are going to be saying that all of Five Nights at Freddy's is trash, but, you know, I would have to disagree. Story-wise, the game is great. I mean, there's tons of lore that keeps you interested, and overall, the atmosphere is great. Now, the gameplay, however, isn't exactly the greatest. It's, it's actually horrible. Do, do you even remember FNAF 3? Because I really don't. I straight up made three videos on it and that's that's it. Like, I, I don't know exactly what the creator was thinking. He, he was like, he was like, yeah, FNAF 1, let, let's have four animatronics come after you. FNAF 2, let's have around 10 animatronics come after you. Super intense. FNAF 3, let's just have one dude come at you and he really doesn't do much but like just stare at you. And that's it. That's it. It was, it was also at that time when pretty much FNAF was getting super oversaturated in the fandom, which is going crazy. And just everyone started hating the game so freaking much. And then, not only that, but the freaking Scott Cawthon, he brought out such a disappointing game that it just, FNAF just went downhill right there. It was, it, it was really a bad time. It was honestly a really bad time. And the thing is, is that I didn't get many views on these videos either. I mean, like, honestly, I, I don't mind, I don't mind not getting views on certain videos because as long as I enjoy it, I I'm still having fun. I I'm still enjoying doing YouTube, you know? But when I'm doing a video that sucks, I don't really like doing it, and I'm not getting that many views on it, it's, 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 it's a punch in the gut, honestly, and th that's the reason why this is probably number one, because it was one of the worst experiences ever. It was just, it was just horrendous. I mean, I, I was so happy that I got over it in literally three videos, and I didn't do more because, oh god, it was, it was, it, it was at that time when I was really just starting to get pissed off at Five Nights at Freddy's because it was just the cons constantly just doing the same thing over and over again. It was just... Ugh. So, like I said, that is, in fact, number one of the worst videos I've ever done on my channel. Did you enjoy this list? Because I doubt it. I, <laughs> I assume 90% of you guys are going to be disagreeing with me because I'm pretty sure some of you have found even worse videos on my channel. I, I have, like, thousands of videos on my channel, so there's bound to be one or two of them that I don't remember. That was really, really bad. So uh, if you guys do remember some really bad videos of mine, please let me know in the comment section down below and let other people know about those videos so you can click on them or I don't know, put, put some links and stuff like that so you guys can show everyone else the, the worst videos I, I, I've pretty much done. Um, so, and I would like to remember if because I would love to maybe add it sooner or later. Oh, who knows? Because I know that it's, it's weird that I'm doing a, a top worst videos um, because I can't really do a top best videos because I don't really consider any of my videos to be like the best of the best. So uh, I, I know what the worst is and I decided to do those. Um, so that's that's, that's uh, pretty much it with this. So, um, but I want to do something a little bit different. I haven't done something like this in a while. I haven't done something like this on my channel. So I, I kind of wanted to branch out a little bit, try doing something a little bit different here and there. Um, and I hope you guys were to enjoy it. I mean, m maybe you enjoy it. It's a top 10. It's basically a top 10. It's not, it's not revolutionary at all. It's, it's just, it's literally something that everyone does. Um, so I don't expect like the greatest uh, thing to come out of it. I just wanted to see what would happen if I, if I were to do it. Uh, so have a happy new year. And uh, honestly, that is all I have to say for now. I'm still going to be uploading for a long time. It's just a new year. I mean, it's still the same thing. I'm still going to be uploading. I'm still going to be doing the same stuff. I'm just rambling on here because... 
that that's what i do i, I love to ramble and um oh yeah, yeah that's right that's right before before in the video uh 2017 best game of the year uh the evil within 2 fuck you doki doki literature club <laughs>